Welcome to the show This Abroad Life. So this show is all about giving information about what's the current situation of life abroad so that uh, if uh, you are planning to come and study abroad then uh, you can get an idea of what's going on over here and who are already abroad then uh, you will get an understanding of uh, what are the things you might need to do to adjust and cope with the current or future situation let's go into today's topic uh, and it is uh, do i need to do the tax return myself or do i need to go to a tax agent so first of all for everyone who is new about tax uh, tax here in australia is a deduction from your salary so that uh, it gets accumulated over time and uh, you can lodge for the return of your tax at the end of the financial year. The financial year is from 1 July to 30 June. And uh, so after 30 June, you need to uh, do your tax return. And uh, usually it's due by 31st October. You can do your tax return uh, in two ways, either yourself or going to uh, tax agent uh, there are both uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, doing yourself or going to the tax agent i'm here to give my insight about uh, what's the best for you so that you can uh, decide accordingly so let's talk about doing yourself first if you want to do your tax return yourself then you need to create a mygov account then link my gov account with your ato account so if you just search in google about uh, how to do a tax lodge myself then you will get all the information i will also post the links in the description below so that uh, you guys can uh, just uh, click in the link and go to the site directly if you are uh, planning to do the tax return yourself then you should do it by 31st october which is the due date if you are doing yourself so now let's go to the advantages of uh, doing yourself so if you are doing yourself then uh, one of the biggest advantage is that you will be saving money because uh, usually it takes around 60 to 70 dollars if you are going to a tax agent to lodge the tax that's the first advantage of doing yourself and uh, the second advantage is that uh, you get the satisfaction of doing yourself because uh, in this age of technology you can do a lot of things yourself and uh, if you can save money you can get the satisfaction of doing and the third advantage of doing yourself is uh, you can do it where and when you want just uh, the flexibility of it now let's go to the disadvantage of uh, doing a tax return yourself uh, doing a tax return takes a lot of research the first disadvantage you don't know what you can claim and what you cannot claim leads to a difficult situation where you might or you will make a mistake if you make a mistake then the result of the mistakes might be costly as uh, you might have to pay to the ato again if you make some mistakes if you feel like you have uh, prepared enough and uh, you put uh, all the things to the right places there is always a fear whether you did it right or wrong even though you did a little lots of research it's always a difficult task and uh, another thing is it's due by 31st october so if you are doing it yourself then the due date for the tax return is by 31st october so these are the disadvantages now let's talk about if you did your tax uh, return uh, by going to a tax agent so tax agents are normally uh, people uh, who are like accountants and uh, after the end of financial year they set up a shop uh, usually around supermarkets or you can also go to their offices uh, to do the tax return let's dive deep into the advantages of going to a tax agent one of the biggest advantages is that 
they are the professionals in those fields so we don't need to worry about uh, whether they did right or wrong because uh, they basically know what they are doing and the second thing is that uh, they also helps us uh, to maximize our tax return which is a good thing because you might uh, forget uh, which uh, things you are eligible to claim for your tax and the last thing uh, last advantage is that if you are uh, using a tax agent then they have uh, like more period of time than uh, individual for the tax return these are the advantages of uh, doing by a tax agent now let's go to the disadvantage of uh, going to a tax agent so the first disadvantage is uh, obviously you need to pay money it ranges from 50 to 100 but usually it's around 60 to 70 dollars uh, to do a tax return and the another but not that much of a big disadvantage is that uh, you might not get the satisfaction of uh, doing it yourself because uh, you paid someone to do it and uh, the third disadvantage is that uh, most of the tax agents are like busy because everyone is uh, planning to do the tax return so it's a busy period for them and uh, even though you filled in all the details uh, but they might not be able to lodge your tax return uh, on the same day so you might face the delay and uh, you know you might <laughs> not get uh, your money return on time that's why these are the three disadvantages of uh, if you went to a tax agent. Based upon my experience and uh, my opinion about uh, whether or not to do the tax return yourself is if uh, I was given the opportunity then I would go to a tax agent. And the main reason is because they are like professionals and uh, we don't need to worry about anything. And uh, if you are business then uh, you suddenly need to go to a tax agent because there are a lot of complex things that gets involved in a business however if uh, there are not more complexities in your uh, payment then you might be able to do it yourself depending upon your personality uh, using an accountant may relieve some of that stress and pressure however even though you did it or the tax agent did it uh, your tax return you're still responsible for your return no matter what because uh, if you did it yourself then it's obvious that you did it yourself but if you went through a tax agent then uh, you have signed at the end you're still responsible for no matter what having said that uh, that's the end of my show for today so keep tuned